reason I hate it when summer comes I fall into a trap that I made by myself Oh, and I always do the wrong thing I'm unstable and I'm unsteady I've lost a million times already And I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow me down I feel unable and so unworthy My heart feels heavy I've lost already and I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow down now That I made by myself Oh, and I always do the wrong thing I'm unstable and I'm unsteady I've lost a million times already I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow down I feel unable and so unworthy My heart feels heavy I've lost already And I'm so sorry but I'm not able to slow Hi there guys and welcome to another blowdown episode. So today we are finally in Stray Spy. Okay, so it's actually the evening now and we're quickly getting everything ready. We're going out on uh, Paul's boat. Paul and his dad, he's gonna, they're going to take us out. We're going to go yellowtail fishing and maybe if uh, the fish aren't biting that good, his dad said we can uh, try and uh, spearfish as well. So we're putting the diving gear on the boat but we quickly had a drive after work we drove through and we're going to do a fishing episode tomorrow morning and then after that we're driving back to George. Okay, so we're going to be fishing with hand lines and uh, yeah, me and Paul is quickly getting everything ready. So Paul's going to explain to us, um, we, each everybody's going to try and have two different hand lines. So Paul's going to explain to us how he rigs up a hand line and why and uh, yeah, he's going to explain the ins and outs. Hi guys, uh, so usually we've got, this is about a four to six hour sinker. Uh, we'll tie, tie the main line straight to the rope. And uh, the leader part to the swivel. Okay, Paul, what, what thickness is this line? This is about 72 kilograms. Okay. And that's the heavy line. You mentioned something to me about the heavy yeah. line and uh, so we'll, we'll have a lighter one. line. We'll have one heavy line for if the current, if uh, there's not that much current, then you can get down better to the to the bottom. And um, if the fish tend to to bite a bit, scallum. What's the English for that? Mm, shy. Shy. If the, the fish, fish is a little bit shy. It's shy. They'll uh, they'll tend to bite better on a thinner line, uh, or maybe vertical jigging for that matter. Can show them the okay, I'm um, quickly while he's uh, while he's there. I'm um, quickly going to show you the vertical jigs. Uh, here we go. You've got the 200 grams, as well as the 250 gram jigs, depending on. And yeah, you actually need to have a lot of those because depending on the water, the color, the fish, uh, the current. So you need to have different weights and different colors. And yes. Uh, or that's box, <laughs> the whole box <laughs> full of jigs. Yeah, there you can see there's plenty of jigs there. Uh, so yeah, so Paul, uh, leader line. What, okay, what? so we, we've got the main line. We've got the main line connected side. to the little rope. And these things are only available in Stray's Fire, not in, not in George. <laughs> so <laughs> for, for some reason we don't get these in George. And then, and then the you've line. got the leader line connected to swivel. He's using uh, fluorocarbon 1.1. Uh, uh, 68, 68 kilograms. And one um, fathom. Okay, one fathom. Yeah, we were actually having a discussion about what one fathom is. And uh, yeah, it's, it's from your one, one tip of your one arm to the tip of your other arm. And that's how the old sailors used to measure um, because they used to put the rope down and they'd pick it up with one hand and they'd say one, one fathom. So yeah, they still use one fathom. So that's a leader line around about 1.8 meters. That's the average length of an um, adult male. 
Okay, then he's got these little, what do you call it, skirts? Skirts, yes. Yes, okay, he likes pink, so yeah, yeah he's gonna do that. And now, here comes the little trick in. For those of you who don't know Rapala knot, go and learn it. Okay, so, yeah, don't worry too much, they can Google what the Rapala knot looks like. I'm going to explain now why we use the Rapala knot, or there's other knots you can use as well, but the Rapala knot is the, um, it's the one that, that Paul is using here. Okay, so now you don't tie the line directly onto the hook. If you can look there, there's a little loop. And that makes for a better action if you tie a pulchard on here now, if you put a pulchard on here, and the hook can move freely. So that's a free action on the on the um, on the bait that you're using. And then your skirt comes over the knot. And uh, yeah, there you have it. There's your your how much is it? Four five ounce? Four yeah, forty six ounce sinker. Forty six ounce sinker. And uh, one point eight meter leader onto uh, uh, what was the size hook? Ten o. Ten o. Ten o. J hook. Uh, no, we're not going to make another one, but here's one just with the heavier sinker. Okay, so that's the exactly the same. Um, same just setup. with a 8 ounce? Yeah, 8 ounce. Right about an 8 ounce sinker. Exactly the same rig, same si uh, um, hooks. Is it is it bandit, landed hooks? Landed. It's landed hooks. You know how I feel about landed hooks. Go check out the episode where we broke five landed hooks, so we'll hopefully, hopefully <laughs> don't break another landed hook and, okay. and landed can uh, repair his name. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully landed, but these do look a, a little bit different, they, it's not the circle hooks that we used uh, in the cop episode, so these ones look a little bit stronger. What, uh, you know what, what uh, the name of the hooks are? Not landed, but the, the type. Uh, I think Normal J hooks or octopus? Yeah, the octopus is a little bit stronger. Octopus, okay. Yeah, it's an octopus uh, landed hook, so they are a little bit reinforced and a little bit stronger. Okay, so we are going to get up quarter to four. It's uh, 10 o'clock now in the evening. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can show you some fish tomorrow. But uh, the guys have been catching very, very good fish and strays. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can uh, get the boat in the water and uh, land some fish. And maybe I can get in the water. Good morning. It's a... Uh just after 4 o'clock, half past 4 and yeah, we are here at Stray's Point and this is just a normal day it's a weekday um, we've been standing in the queue for around about 15-20 minutes now, we're getting close to the harbor but yeah, that is Stray's by on a normal day all the commercials are launching and uh, there's a couple of recreational fishermen as well and uh, hopefully the wind is pumping so hopefully I can get the drone in the air when we're a little bit closer but yeah, I don't think I'm going to take a chance with now. I'll show you more footage when we get closer to all, but yes, we are going to fish for Yellowtail today. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we can get a couple of tail today. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of boats going in and out. And uh, as you can see, it's still dark, but the boats are going in and out at a, at a rapid rate. And you have to know what you're doing when you get here. Um, there's no fooling around or messing around. Otherwise, the commercials. This is a live hood, so um, so if you're here for enjoy enjoyable trip and, and you're in the way of a commercial, you will know. They will let you know that you're in their way. So and I understand that that is a live hood, and uh, they've been waiting for the whole for December, December um, for the for the boat for the fish to arrive. And finally, now end of January, the fish have arrived. So yeah, you can understand that they want to get in there and out there. Um, the commercials at the moment are getting between 18 and 25 rand per kilo, which is actually shocking. Just before the fish arrived, they were getting up to 55, 60 rand per kilo. So it's actually shocking um, what's happened to the market, but that's how flooded the market is because there's about 50 tons of these fish coming out every single day. So the markets are flooded uh, with, with yellow tail at the moment. But yeah, in the harbor at the moment, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 boats. There's 10 boats just in the harbor at the moment. You can see some of the lights here. But yeah, 10 boats, uh, which is probably about 1, 2, 3, 
five five of them have got commercials six putting in so yeah there you can see all the guys standing on the side uh, oh there's another little bunch there's 11 bucks so there's once we get closer you'll be able to see all the guys on the side Yeah, you can see some of the boats a little bit better now but yeah it's just boats and people everywhere like I said you need to know your story when you when you are here I don't know, it's very dark so you probably can't even see me but you need to know your story when you're, when you're coming here you don't mess around on the on the slip you get your boat ready before the time and once you hit the slip it's just the launch and uh, then you're out of here Oh, that's 
sy lyn oor hy stroop, want hy knoop wat jy vir my gegeet nou. Of werf uit daar. Jy het gesê, snij uit die knoop. Of werf uit daar. Ok, Paulus, wees wekie vir my, hoe is die techniek nou hier? Ja. Oh, ok, daar gaat hy. En dan? Hy het hem nou so ge... Jy, 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 Waar my vis? Waar my vis? Jy? Jy? Skommelaars. Oeh! Skommelaars. Aan! Ha? Jy! Kan sê? Mal kopie. Jus, kijk even. Woohoohoo! Beautiful tail. Af. Dat is zo kom. with a very nice fish. This guy's got a fish on you, <laughs> on the duck. Oh. <laughs> it's 
So yeah, this guy in front of me, yeah, he's actually steering the boat there with his foot. Um, he's got an inboard motor, so motor, and then he's a, a chucky. He's steering the boat with that, with that, with his foot there at the back. Pole is on. Hang on, pole. Hey, 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 hey. I think you've got my line, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Flying fish! <laughs> Ja. 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 Yo, 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 Polars with a nice fish air. Okay guys, so the fish have gone off the bite. Uh, we managed to catch a couple. Well, not, not as many as we... Oh. Not as many as we would have liked to catch, but yeah, you can see most of the boats are leaving and these fish are very, um, they, they go on the bite early and once they're off the bite, they don't come back on the bite. Um, so that's why this period, you'll see a couple of spirit boats out here now. So yeah, maybe uh, it is Tuesday today, so maybe we'll come out on Friday or Saturday, the weather's looking alright. We might come and do a uh, straight for spear fishing trip. We just were checking to see if the water is alright. The water is not that clean yet. 
So that's why uh, there's not a lot of spirits out here. But yeah, we're gonna head back and clean some fish. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna head back to George and start to work again. Okay guys, so we're going to do the section in Afrikaans now. Francois is going to show us how to take out, what do you call it Francois? The, the head. We call it the head, the little head, head piece of fillets. The head fillets, okay. So Francois is also on the, on the, on, uh, out today. So the head finger fillets, okay. There's the end result. So he's going to show us how to take that out of the yellow tail's head. And apparently that is the sweetest meat that you can find on the fish. And uh, like his dad said now, you put it in on um, in any fish dish that you no, do. Seafood paella. Okay, paella. seafood paella, anything like that. Okay. So show us what do yeah, I, how you do it. You see here along the lead, there's a bone, or a hard piece of bone that goes there. Then you just take the knife, pull along that bone on both sides. And then, as you see inside there, you see the fish, and then that piece of fillet comes from the front side, runs through to the back. It's now off the angle. Then you just make a cut over there. There's now a small head, so the fillet is gonna not look so good. Ah, it's fine, it's just to get the idea. And just take your thumb. Ah, take your thumb. There you get the fillets out. And then you take it from the front and it just falls out of, of the skin. There you go. There you have it. And there you've got two nice pieces without any bones. And that will also be good sashimi? Yeah, you can eat it clean or like that with some soy sauce or whatever. Okay, okay, helpful tip, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we're gonna catch you next time. Hopefully we can do some spearfishing.